Hi folks! In this video I'm going to assemble this fun wallet project. Keep watching! This wallet project is actually a ready-to-make project in design space. In the instructions, the materials called for are faux leather as well as cardstock, I believe. But I wanted to make it entirely in cardstock and use it as a gift card holder. So to make it a little more decorative, I used pattern fill to upload photos and put them on a backing so that I could add them to the, the wallet, the gift card holder. And I will also put a gift card in it. And I think it makes a really cute, wonderful gift. So let's go ahead and assemble the second one. Once again, I've used pattern fill to upload photos of my grandchildren. And I've used three colors of cardstock. I believe in the pattern there's also three colors used. Get that one ready. Oh, this silicone mat is hard to lift from. And all I'm using as adhesive with cardstock is my tape runner. I'm not using any liquid glues or anything like that. We'll get this one ready. There we go, and we'll just set them aside. So there's a lot of score lines, a lot of folding involved in this one. So let's see, we'll start with the outside. No, that's the inside. We'll start with the outside piece. You can identify that by all the cutouts around it. In the center you have a double score line, so we're going to fold both. That gives the wallet depth, so the pockets sit nicely inside. So we have that. We have, let's see, where else? We have a double score line on the top also because that folds over to close the top and I believe we have a single here yes okay and then the inside lining is what you want to do next so you have this window this piece this is a reminder we go. There should be a double one on here too. Alexa, stop. And you have a double score line in the center. So you're going to fold that one also. I probably should have done that one first. Doesn't really matter though. Actually, it would be easier to fold if you folded the center one first. There we go. So we'll start assembling. This will go on the inside. And you want to make sure you center it up so that the inside color shows through the holes on the outside. It looks like stitching that way. It's very cute. Okay. So we're going to put our start with our adhesive just on this rectangle. You don't want to put it too too close to the edges because you don't want to have adhesive coming through the holes or the cutouts on the outside. And we want to line this up nice. Thank you. 
that looks good. Okay, then we want to fold these in and fold them to the towards the inside. So we're going to flip this over and put the adhesive on the tabs along the outside. And then we're going to fold them in and fold it over towards the inside of the wallet. Okay. So we're going to take this outside flap, add adhesive just down the center of it. and flatten it out and then this is going to fold towards the outside of the wallet. I'm going to put a little adhesive here and fold it in. And there we go. Make sure everything is still folding nicely. And this flap is what will hold it closed. So you can really see already what it looks like. We're going to run adhesive on the inside layer and fold over. I need to fold my score lines again. Once you attach the inside layer, you need to double up on folding your score lines. There we go. Okay, we need to add the pocket to the inside. This is actually a double pocket. So you're going to fold in. and fold in and you're going to run adhesive along this tab and then fold it in and fold it over so you have your first pocket on this one you're going to fold the tabs towards the pocket and you're going to fold up and you can see right away that that's how we get the double pocket. We're going to flip it over, run our adhesive along the tabs, and then fold them in and fold up. I got some adhesive on the edge, we'll just rub it off. And this is the third layer that's going to sit on this side. Cute. I think I would have liked it better with a darker gray, but it's still cute. Put it as if on the back side. We'll add it to the inside, and there we have it. So I'm going to add my photos. There we go. And I'll use the gift card on this side. And there's my second wallet. So they're super easy to put together. I think they're cute in cardstock. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you'll make some. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've added links in the description of the video for my Facebook group. That's where I share my Design Space files. 
and also a link to sign up for emails from Carol's Cricut Crafts. If ever you see a Cricut product link in my description or in my comments, that would be an affiliate link and using those earns me a small commission but at no extra cost to you. Thank you for watching.